Quick video on how to remove and replace a prop shaft on a Ranger 900 XP. This one's a 2014. When I was researching how to do this, there is tons of discussion and a few videos online that all pretty much say that you need to remove the front diff. And that means you need to take off the grill, the bumper, drop the suspension, maybe yank the axles out, and then you still needed to notch the frame right in there to be able to give yourself enough room to be able to slide that prop shaft out the front. Yeah, it seemed a bit crazy to me. I really didn't want to go through all that trouble. So what I've done, um, and it's all taken all about five minutes, is the only thing that needed to come out basically was this bracket here. So mine was quite rusty anyways. So I cut it off with an angle grinder and uh, once this prop shaft is in and, and ready to go, which pretty much is now, I'm gonna weld on two nuts on each side and take a new piece of steel and just bolt it on instead of welding it back on because once I took this thing for a drive without a prop shaft, it was completely different. It was very, very smooth. There's tons of complaints um, about vibration on these Rangers and usually it's related to the prop shaft. So each summer when I don't need four wheel drive anymore, I'm just gonna unbolt that and pull the prop shaft out. The other thing, two other things you need to do. One is um, unbolt this, unscrew the uh, clutch cover. That gives yourself just enough room to be able to slide the back of the prop shaft up this way and then lift up the front into the uh, front diff area. And then the last thing you gotta do, not remove the front diff, but you do need to unbolt it. So those two screws are, those two bolts there, those two bolts there. And then that gives you just enough room to slide this front diff around. And that allows you to slip the, uh, slip the yoke on at the very back at the engine and then slide um, this front U-joint onto the splines there. Just make sure you line up the hole with that roll pin and you're set to go. So it took all of about 10 minutes and uh, you know, I probably didn't even need to take off the front wheels. So much easier for me. Um, the only thing I gotta do is fabricate that bracket, but I think this is the way to go. And any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments. Thanks.